Well, when he isn't solving every medical problem in Erinsborough or marrying his wife or divorcing his wife or marrying his wife or divorcing his wife, he's rocking out on the stage. Actor Alan Fletcher! <laughs> This rash that's just... <laughs> sorry. Well, I've, you, I can't tell you how many rashes I've looked at over yeah. my over the years. I've never experienced. I haven't got any gloves, unfortunately. Oh, that's a good excuse. That's yeah. extremely yeah. good. A friend of mine said, when he was a doctor, and because people come with gardening problems, and he said, whenever they come up, he said, just say to them, step into that room over there, take your clothes off, and I'll be with you in a minute. He <laughs> yes. said, it's never failed for me, so I think you should <laughs> try that one. But do people really think you're a doctor? Oh, look, the, the, I think people have got a good perspective on all this sort of thing. Most of the times it's young men being a bit cheeky, asking about you know, injuries of the nether region, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> but 18 years, that's probably why. You've been with the man and boy. It's extraordinary. It's actually... I feel like I've become a sort of pseudo-doctor, but I'm very careful not to administer any advice. I think yeah. the medical authorities would chase me to the end of the earth. You clearly enjoyed it, then, if you oh, stayed that long. It, look, it's the dream job. I work with wonderful people. Jackie Woodburn, who plays Susan, of course. You know, oh, she's had to put up with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. so have I. <laughs> yeah, I think you have. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's an enormous journey. I was signed to do Neighbours for one year, a one-year contract, and I thought, gee, this is going to be great. I really enjoyed this. And they said, oh, would you like to do another year? I thought, yes, that'd be good. 18 years later, it's a blink of the eye. I'm still oh, there. God. Yes, I suppose if they said right at the beginning, would you like to do 18 years? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. They always say, if I ever talk to Coronation Street actors over there, they always say, and quite genuinely, I've come to realise that it's a family. You do feel as though, you know, you are quite a close-knit community. Is it the yeah. same on Neighbours? Uh, it's uh, absolutely the same. People always say to me, oh, who, who don't you get on with? You know, there must be someone you dislike. And I sit there and say, I can honestly tell you, we are just enormously good pals. Mm -hmm. to, to make six episodes of a show like Neighbours a week, you have to be very energised and you have to be very happy. So what's your working week like? Well, it's Monday to Friday, yeah. but we are making six 23-minute episodes in that time, which means we're actually working on 18 episodes simultaneously. Uh, oh either goodness. rehearsing them, shooting the outdoor scenes, or shooting the indoor scenes. So you have to have your head completely around everything that your character's doing over a three-week period. So do you have to find yourself saying to them, have I left her at this point, or am I just about to leave? <laughs> Absolutely. Have I, I kissed her yet? Oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> you come over here quite regularly, yeah. but you... you... Promoting something called Blue September. Yes, this is a, this is a month, an entire month yeah. of cancer awareness for men, trying to get men to face up to cancer. I, it started in New Zealand, moved to Australia, now in the UK, Ireland and the US, and it's in its second year here. And I'm very pleased to come back for the second year to help promote it, mainly because last year I was here sort of saying to men, come on, face up to cancer. Most men, more men will get cancer than, than women. More men will die of cancer than women. But men tend to not go to the doctor. So you know. go early. That's the go big early. Message. It's always go down, early. Go. Once you turn forty, make sure you get your regular checkup. So it's all about that. But the great thing is to come back a year later with terrific news, in a sense, because only, it was only two days ago the UK Cancer Council sort of said that in they feel in two decades' time, eighty percent of cancers will be curable, which is wonderful news. Really yeah. wonderful news. Because we always hear the downside. You know, eighty thousand men died of cancer last year. We always hear the bad news about cancer. But the, the, the breakthroughs in treatment now are just fabulous. So I'm playing with a machine tomorrow, a wonderful robot. Um, it's the Da Vinci robot, but it does the keyhole surgery on the prostate. And you operate it from outside the body, and it's amazing. I, I, I've, I've actually dissected plasticine with it. Uh, <laughs> and I'm glad it's only plasticine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic... It, the, and that machine will be painting my face uh, uh, blue tomorrow. Um, and, and also, I've been just been exposed recently to this extraordinary GPS tracking thing where they, they, the, the prostate is actually tracked by GPS while they yes, radiate it. It's called Calypso. It's extraordinary stuff. It's start. most important that we make use of this new technology. Well, this is the thing. Don't be frightened of it, yeah. you know. I think a lot of men sit, sit there and think, I'm not going to go to the doctor because if I go, mm. I'll get bad news. Or so I'm what's this to tell me about when you're not doing that, when you're not doing Neighbours, you're a muso, you're on stage rocking away? I love my music. I've toured here about nine times, I think, with my band, and uh, it's just a great joy. The university students support me so, so solidly, mm. and uh, we do the uni tours, and through the walkabout pubs we do tours a lot, and 
uh, they'd be very kind to me. So I thought, well, <clears throat> if I'm going to be in London, I should do a gig, uh, do a gig. For, for Blue September. So tomorrow night down at the Shepherd's Bush Walkabout, we'll, yeah. uh, we'll do a gig. And, Wonderful. Come and see Dr. Carl playing the guitar. Yeah, it, it'd Wonderful. be lovely if people did come down. It's a nine o'clock show, and it's, the entry is simply a donation to the charity. Yeah. Brilliant. Great to have you with us. Thanks so much for coming. Take our love back to Ramsey Street. I will. Ladies and gentlemen, my thanks to Alan Fletcher. Thank you. Thank you. Now, earlier in the show, our three birds.